Hi, I'm Dennis from Synaptic, and we're showing uh, a preview of our new product, Morph version 2. Why is it new in version 2? Well, recently we acquired audio processing pioneers ProSonic, and they had a plugin called Morph, which was very cool, but it was Mac AU only, and it was getting kind of old. Now, we took it and synaptified it and made it even more awesome. What does it do? It takes two input signals and trades a new hybrid sound out of those in real time. Now, here's me making a bold statement. We are the synaptic. You shall be assimilated. And we can turn that into this. We are the synaptic. You shall be assimilated. So how, how did we get there? We were using three signals. My voice, a Bode cymbal recording, and a Rottweiler uh, growling. Pretty mean sounding dog. So for the Rottweiler, let me show that dog to you. Sounds like this. <laughs> Now I'm going to morph that into my voice. We are the synaptic. You shall be assimilated. We are the <laughs> be assimilated. Let me show you what the symbol sound. Here's the symbol. And here again is the voice. We are the synaptic. And now I'm going to morph between them. We are the synaptic. You shall be the synaptic. So you can kind of think of it in terms like a vocoder. It takes two sounds and applies features of one sound to the other and creates an in-between result, but it absolutely is not a vocoder. So it's not only crazy monster voices you can make, you can also make really funky new music. Let me show you our input files. This is uh, Daft Punk. This is Timo Maas. Thrill seeker, heartbreaker, shake. Then we have a Madonna remix. And finally, we have Earth, Wind and Fire. Now I can go and do this. So yeah, it, it, it kind of is a drop-in replacement for the age-old crossfader, but does something a lot more exciting. And I presume DJs will probably be leaving it in the middle for a whole lot of the time because it gives such nice uh, sci-fi-esque vibes. Also, this uh, Morph has a brand new Foreman shifter, which has None of the artifacts typically associated with form and shifting, be it granular type artifacts or FFT type artifacts. It sounds really, really clean. Let me show you. Yeah, there's lots of fun to be had with this. If you're into electronic music, DJing, remixing, sound design for for ads, for film, for game, for games, this is 
your tool. Um, there's going to be an upgrade path for users of the Legacy ProSonic Morph, even going way back to the original that was discontinued years ago. We uh, don't want people to pay twice for something they already bought, so there will be a regular upgrade path for all the users that have supported ProSonic in the past. Thanks for watching. Have a great show.